Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Gray. This is Console Trunks. Now, last time out, I showed you guys my Commodore Amiga and its game. Coming up pretty soon, I'll hopefully be showing off my Wonders one. But well, right now, we're going to be showing off this Commodore C16 Plus 4. Now, before we start off, we do have to run a few checks. This being an old computer, we're on the old cassette games. So, we've got to make sure our tape is rewound. Oh bloody hell. Well that's going on. We also have to program it. We have to... Press return. And then we press play on tape. Ah, Treasure Island. What can I say about this game? Well, I can't move for one thing. Uh, what's going on? Ah, oh, no, there we go. We're all right. Now, Treasure Island. This wasn't just the first game I played in this system. This was the first video game I played ever. And as such, in my time, many systems and games have come and gone, but I've always kept this copy. But this is actually the first copy that I got way way back in 1985 still working well still a fun game to play uh, I think this is a Commodore original game this was a uh, bundled in with the computer one of ten games I don't know if it was ever ported to any other systems I imagine it probably was under some other guys Treasure Island was a popular children's TV show around about this time but as you can see, it's a single screen adventure game. Something that was quite popular back in the early mid 1980s on systems like the Spectrum. But it's funny. When I got this uh, new C16 uh, a little under a year ago, this is one of the games I was kind of apprehensive about playing simply because I got so many great memories of playing this as a kid. Didn't want to spoil that by finding out the game was in fact a pile of rubbish, but I have to say now, having played it for a little bit, it's as good as I remember. I mean, obviously you have to look past the archaic graphics and the fact that there's no music, but everything else you could want is there. It really is a good game. And on top of all that, it's also the very first video game I ever completed. And speaking of video games I completed, I finished this when I was six years old, but it wasn't the only one. I also managed to complete this game. Fire Ant. Now this isn't as straightforward as it kind of looks. This is actually a puzzle game. Single screens. You can probably make out there's some items in the right hand side of the screen. You can see two keys and what looks like a purple paint pot being guarded by a bunch of scorpions. Well, your job is to make it from one end of the screen, usually the top, to the other end of the screen, usually the bottom. I've just set that uh, thingamabob in motion, that's going to break the gate for me. I didn't need to grab that key, open the door, grab the second key, and make my escape. Now like I said, this is another game I finished back when I was ooh, very young, about six years old. But I've, uh, I've seen a couple of people upload videos of this on YouTube. Uh, who was it now? I think it was Steve Benway, Retro Gamer VX, and one or two others. And all of them struggled on this game. And it is a tricky game, but not a very difficult one. Um, you can only carry one item at a time. You can only pick up the required item that you need for a given point. As you can see, I've got a key. I can't touch anything else now, so I've opened this door. Now I'll grab this thing. Brings the fly up here. Grab the other thing that makes me invisible. You can probably make out the scorpions are fleshing away now. Now go for them. Grab the key and easy peasy Japanesey. The fly comes and takes care of this bit. And I'm off. Screen free. Now these first few levels, because obviously I played them so much as a kid, uh, it's like riding a bike. You never forget. However, some of the later levels are particularly tricky. Now, I'm not going to play this game too much more, as there's a few other games I'd sort of like to show off. Um, 
this video is kind of like a collection of some of my preferred titles that I played when I was younger on this system. It's a system that virtually no one outside of more or less hardcore collectors have ever heard of, let alone played on. So like I said, I thought I'd show off some of the more interesting, more unique, more fun games to play. Now, if you're not into the cerebral, Fire Ant might not be your thing. However, what might be your thing is the next game up, which is Powerball. You're a ball, and you bounce up and down, up and down, like a tart Snickers. Ow. I did play this game quite a lot as a kid. Um, I think apparently there's some sort of flaw in it, where you can't actually finish the game, there's some bug in it. But, um, yeah, I've been playing this game for about 10 minutes before I start this video, and I can't get anywhere in it. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, look where it put me. I just can't get the hang of this game now. I breezed through um, this game as a kid, but well, I don't know what it is. I can't for the life of me time to jump. See what I mean? I can't time the jumps. In the drink again. Up, come on. That's it. Big bounce down. One more. What? Oh, sugar. And my wicker ready oh, for God's sake. Alright, one more go. Come on, come on. Oh, Kulva. Try something else, I think. Now, a bit of role playing adventure. This is Storm. Uh, a budget adventure game released by uh, Mastertronics. I think this is a multi format title. Uh, anyone who's playing Gauntlet should. Uh, immediately feel at home. It's basically what this game is, another single screen adventure. This one you collect scrolls. The movement in this is quite difficult. Um, left and right moves your character around obviously, up moves you forward. There's no reverse gear unfortunately. Down activates magic, which I haven't got any at the moment. But it usually just kills every enemy on screen. That's all you do, you wander around these dungeons and crypts, killing enemies, uh, destroying them things which create the enemies and wash and repeat. Story wise it's mm, kind of like typical 80s Dungeons and Dragons kind of stuff. You've got to rescue your beloved from an evil sorcerer. I didn't play this much as a kid but I have to admit I've been having a little go on it recently and it's not all that bad actually. I was never a big fan of Gauntlet growing up, but I had to admit the game was fun in two players. There is a two player mode in this, but unfortunately I haven't got any friends who would really be up for playing it with me. Uh, I'm guessing they're coffins. Uh, as you can probably tell, music wasn't a big thing for the system. Oh well, what else have we got? We have this game. Ever wondered why Rockman was known as Mega Man in the West? It's because of this game. Oh, that actually was completely not a lie, I've got no clue. Um, Yeah, Ricky Rockman, collecting diamonds is his aim. Uh, this is one of the very first games I ever bought for the system. Went out and spent my 199 on it. The only reason I'm showing it off is... Check this out. Look what happens when you get hit on the head with a boulder. Did you shit yourselves? Now if I was to ask you guys what you thought the hardest video game ever made was, I can probably imagine your response. You're probably thinking Gradius, Another World, Demon Souls, Gradius, Ghouls and Ghosts, Gradius, or Gradius 2. Well, you're wrong. It's Gun Law on the plus four. Ah, gun law. It's because of this game that to this day I have a deep hatred of the colour blue. And you're going to see why in a second. So as I figure out how to start this game. Press far to play. I'm trying. Ah, there we go. Now as you can see on the surface, this simple commando clone. Shoot the baddies. Progress all the way to the top. Ugh. And puts us right back at the start. 
But some of you, more eagle-eyed amongst you, might have noticed what makes this game so difficult. Check out the bad guys. They just appear randomly out of anywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, I'd like to say that I'm playing this game like a well-oiled killing machine. But I think it's going to come across more like a small child with rickets. Oh, I don't know what to, what to do. You actually have to get into the line of fire of these baddies to hit them. Now, sometimes... God almighty, this is hard. Oh, what hit me? What the hell? Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Believe it or not, this is as far as I've progressed since 1987. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, please. Come on. You know, I might actually do this. I'm, oh. There's still a chance I might be able to do the first level for the first time. Come on. One well played shot and I got Come on you. I might actually do it. I might actually do the first level. Die! Oh Bastard. Well, after all that, we saved the best to last. This is the Saboteur. A stealth em up and one of the best games, not just on this system, but one of the best games I ever played as a kid. This game is awesome. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to show it off in the best light because, unlike the other games which I had a chance to practice on, this game is a late substitute because it only arrived this morning and I haven't had a chance to practice on it. Um, I have completed this, completed it when I was younger. But unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to progress as far as I'd like. Just looking for an item. Usually find something lying about. There's something. How do you pick it up? Um, crouch, no. Oh, you just press fire. Oh, okay. Now this, to many people like myself, this was our Metal Gear. You can sneak up on the guards. There is a bit of stealth, a bit of uh, brain power involved. But the aim of the game is to find a disc, deactivate a bomb, and make it away to safety on a helicopter. Those dogs. Um, they don't alert any guards, and you can kill them. But you don't get any points for doing it, so I'm just going to leap over him and oh, straight into danger. Oh, 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 dead. Oh well. Saboteur. Hope you enjoyed this video. Me showing off some of the better Commodore Plus 4 games. Well, that's it from me. Thank you for watching.